Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the difference between using a webcam, what you get built into a Chromebook, a 720p webcam and a HD webcam compared to an external webcam. Now I am actually using the Asus CX5 webcam which you can see the quality is okay but it's not great but I am using an external mic here just so the sound is okay but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the difference between the Asus CX5 webcam, and bear in mind this is a this is a high spec Chromebook. It, it's Intel i5, quad core, super fast, loads of RAM, great speakers, decent keyboard. Everything's good about it, but this is the quality of the webcam, and this is what you get when you get a 720p webcam. Now I am using a light as well, so it is better than if you was just using it without a light for example, but this is what you get with the Asus CX-5. So what I'll do now, I'll show you the different videos to show you all three, the Asus CX-5 720, then the Pixelbook Go with a full HD camera, and then I'll show you with an external webcam as well, so you can see the difference. Now the difference will be also that I will not be using this external mic on any of them, that includes the external webcam, just so you can see the mic quality as well. So this is the Asus CX-5 camera. It's not full HD, it's pretty wide lens, so it's not too bad that way. The focusing looks all okay. It's not that bad. I have got lighting set up, so this is with lighting set up as well, but it, it's okay. I'm not too sure what the mic sounds like because I'm using the internal mic. But it's not too bad. Let's have a look what it looks like on the Pixelbook Go with the full HD camera. So this is my Pixelbook Go camera. As you can see, it, it's much better quality than the Asus CX-5, the 720. This is a full HD version. I'm using the internal mic, so I'm not too sure how good that sounds. But as you can see, the actual quality of the webcam is, is pretty decent. It, it, zooms in and out very gets the auto zoom looks great so much better webcam so it really does show why it's good to have a decent webcam if that's important to you so this is now using an external webcam as you can see much better quality than the asus cx5 using a 720 webcam and it's also much better quality than the pixelbook go don't get me wrong the pixelbook go was pretty good but it, it, it's still not going to be an external webcam like that. I'm using the microphone from the external webcam so you can see the sound quality as well. It may not be fantastic and it's never going to beat an external mic, so it's still best to use an external mic, which you can do. You can use an external webcam and you can use an external mic at the same time if you want the best quality. But as you can see, this is pretty good. It's much wider. The quality is much better. The colors there compared to the Asus CX-5, the colors weren't there. Much, much, much better. So I'm going to show you now the webcam that I use on my Chromebook. And I, I this is on, this is actually now showing on my Asus CX-5, but it also works in the Chromebox. It just works. This is why this is the webcam I went for. So I'll show you that now. So this is the webcam I use. It's the Logitech. Pro C920, it works great, it works seamlessly with Chrome OS, you don't need to install software for it, works absolutely fine. So if you're looking for a decent webcam for Chrome OS, then the Logitech Pro C920 is a great webcam. So I think you can see, I'm back now, I'm using my external webcam, the Logitech One, the Logitech Pro C920, um, but I have now connected it to an external mic and you should see that the sound is better, but the sound is always gonna be better if you use an external mic. But I think you can obviously see there that there's a massive difference. The Pixelbook Go was decent, the Asus CX-5 or any Chromebook with a 720p, you can tell it's not very good, but you can't be an external webcam. So if you want a really good webcam experience, I'd go for something like the Logi. There's obviously other brands out there, but that's the one I use and it works seamlessly with the Chromebook or Chromebox. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.